Hello everyone, my name is Adun Aluren and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I perform a strengthening treatment on my relaxed hair prior to getting a relaxer. See you soon! Indeed, the very hairs of your head are numbered. Do not fear, you are more valuable than many sparrows. Luke 12, 7. So with that being said, I think the least that I can do is get these hairs of my head in order for 2020. I'm just showing you guys the texture that's in my hair this time. I'm about 10 weeks post relaxer. I just wanted to do a strengthening treatment before I go in for my next relaxer. So we're about to get started. So right now I'm just sectioning my hair into four sections. They're not perfect. But I always do this to make sure that whatever product I'm using on my hair is distributed well, especially now that I am about 10 weeks post relaxer. This is a must. So I decided to go with Olaplex for this treatment today. I'm using Olaplex number three, which is the take home treatment in their line. There are a total of seven products in their line and number three is the take home treatment. It promises to rebuild the disulfide bonds in your hair after they're broken from any kind of chemical processing or heat or anything like that. As you know, our hair is made of protein bonds and protein bonds are held together by these disulfide bonds. And um, when we treat our hair, chemically treated or heat treated, these disulfide bonds are compromised. So this treatment promises to rebuild or re-strengthen those bonds. So according to the instructions at the back of the bottle, you're supposed to apply this treatment to damp hair before shampooing or conditioning. So that's why you saw me just spray my section with water just to dampen the hair a little bit. And I'm applying the treatment straight to dirty hair, essentially. Um, but the reason I'm applying this treatment like a relaxer <laughs> is because I need this treatment to touch every single strand of my head because this little bottle, this three ounce bottle of treatment cost me $28 at Sephora. And I don't know about y'all, but that was a lot of money, I think, for such a tiny bottle of product. So I'm just applying section by section, making sure this product gets to... Um, my roots, um, especially my line of demarcation, because if you're a relaxed girl, you know that this is where we tend to get breakage um, when we're stretching our relaxers. So I'm just trying to make sure I get that there, and then I'm adding a little bit more to the entire shaft of my hair and just, you know, really working all of that product through my hair. So I just twist up that section, clip it away, and move on. And unfortunately, I still needed more product to get through the rest of my head. So you know I was mad about that. <laughs> but here I am just making sure I'm distributing that product as well as I can throughout this last section of my hair. Twisting that up as well and clipping it away. Ironically, after putting all those clips in my head, I actually take them down before putting on my shower caps. And the reason why I do that is because in my head, I feel like the clips prohibit every strand of my hair getting steamed. I don't know, I just feel like they'll block the steam. But what I do is I just put hot towels over my first shower cap, cover that with a second shower cap, and then I actually put on a third shower cap. <laughs> and the third shower cap usually has a cotton lining and that just traps the heat that the towels are given off and Olaplex says to leave it on for 10 minutes. So after all that, I was actually so hungry. <laughs> I ended up going downstairs, getting something to eat, hanging out with my niece and ultimately left this treatment on for about 30 minutes, even though 10 minutes was instructed. But later it's great. I'm just rinsing it out now and prepping to shampoo my hair with the Cantu Moisturizing Cream Shampoo. 
I lather my hair a total of two times and on the first wash I just focus mainly on my roots not really allowing the shampoo to go down the length of my hair until I rinse it out and then on the second wash however while I am lathering up I allow the shampoo to go through the entire strands of my hair then rinse that out as well So on my t-shirt dried hair, I'm just sectioning it one more time to apply my definitive conditioner. And the reason why I say that is because Olaplex is not a conditioner but a treatment. You still need to condition your hair afterward. So I decided to go with the Afrigy Keratin 2 Minute Reconstructor and its counterpart, the Balancing Moisturizing Conditioner. And I decided to add in a little bit of olive oil to the mix as well. Um, since Olaplex itself is technically a protein treatment, I only use a teeny tiny bit of the Keratin 2 Minute Reconstructor. So this mix was mostly a moisturizing mix. Um, olive oil is one of the very few oils that actually penetrate the hair shaft. So I decided to go with that just to give myself a little extra boost of nutrition and moisture into my situation. So I just did the same thing, distribute product, covered it with a plastic cap, covered it with two more plastic caps, and left it on for a while. So after rinsing all of that out, I'm just applying a little bit of my leave-in conditioner. Everything will be linked below. Um, I don't want this part to be too long. If you would like a detailed version of how I straighten my hair, let me know down in the comments, and I'll be more than happy to get that to you guys. But I'm just spraying on my heat protectant now, all over my hair i apply this product liberally <laughs> i don't want any extra damage um since relaxes are already you know by their nature quite damaging so i make sure my hair is completely protected from heat i go ahead and blow dry with my wide tooth comb and my little corner blow dryer girl i had for years and once that is done i start my silk press process so I'm just adding a few drops of my Ion Silk Drops to my hair before I start flat ironing it. <laughs> the flat iron that I use is the Babyliss Pro Titanium Flat Iron and I set it at 355 degrees. And the comb I use for the Chase Method is the Cricut Silk Comb. <laughs> I'll link it below, I got it from Sally's. So these are my final results. I feel like after my Olaplex, Afigy, Duo, my hair is feeling soft and somehow at the same time strong and thick. If you stuck around all this time, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you around. Bye!